Hey everyone, it's Lori from the Buzzing Bee Collective and I'm continuing with this video tutorial. Um, we are learning how to paint stemless or stemmed or any kind of wine glass or vase or um, you know, any other glass item that you have. The reason I like glass is because as I'll show you later, I cure my glasses in the oven. I put them in the oven to bake, which makes them um, virtually dishwasher safe. I don't tell people to put them in the dishwasher because sometimes dishwashers um, heating cycle is like um, as hot as I can, a kiln. I mean, some of them get so hot that I've had paint melt off the glasses. So I tell people, hand wash your glasses, treat them gently, they are works of art. Um, my last video was a tutorial on how to mix up your paints. Uh, I've mixed up these paints already, showing you a little bit about what we learned about consistency. And I'm running to get my blowtorch. I know that seems strange, why do I have a blowtorch? But if you've never done this, you will soon understand why. Oh, look how pretty that is. It's been used a little bit. All right, so this is how I do my glasses. There are different methods. Some people prefer to put all their paint uh, in the cup together and then pour over the glass. Some people would rather paint one color at a time and let the colors run together. The way I do my full paint glasses, like this one, and as you see here, I've got my 20 and a half ounce clear wine glass, stemless wine glass right there. What I have done to prepare my wine glass is I have cleaned it with rubbing alcohol. That ensures that there's no oils on it, that it's clean and that the paint will stick to it. All right, so let's get down to the fun part. I don't really have any rhyme or reason when I start mixing my colors. This is a neon green. I found sometimes the first color you put in will be the most prominent color, but that's not always the case. And different colors I've also found have different properties and when people say to me, I want you to make me a glass exactly like the one I saw on your website. And I say to them, I, that's just not possible. These glasses paint themselves. Everyone is different. You see, I'm just alternating. Every glass is different. Even if I use the same exact colors, they turn out different every time. And that's what makes them unique and special. All right, I've got my three colors in here. There are a lot of bubbles in this white paint. That's where our torch will come in and I'll show you that later. All right, hang on to your hats. This is the best part. I love it. I love seeing what happens. Every glass is different and so here we go. Okay. Look at that. Oh yeah. And there's no special way that you, that you um, add the paint to the glass. You just Put it on there any way you want. It runs down. Every side of the glass will have a different sort of pattern. Love it, I love it, I love it. Look at that. And the purple and the white even mixed up a little bit and made some pink, which is so cool. Now you see the paint is still running and that is fine. As it runs down, the pattern will change and it will, you know, continue to change and morph into the final, the final product. If you are liking what you're seeing at this point, you can get a fan on it and kind of slow down the, the drying process. Now here's another trick. If it's not exactly what you're thinking it would be if the colors are not giving you these good little striations, is that a word? Like you like, here's something that I like to do. Now it's weird, 
another um, YouTube video. I wish I knew her name. She and her daughter paint glasses and she taught me this trick with the straw. So watch this. It just kind of gives it a more of a tie-dye kind of look. Is that is that kind of what you're seeing? Yeah, it's kind of marbly. I really like that. I like the way that works. Watch this side. Um, if you're watching my video and if you do this and I've stole this idea from you, please comment because I think it's really cool. It can give you a different look. Can you see the difference there? As opposed to this side, which you know what? It's just your preference and every different color combination will turn out different, obviously. Now this is the point in the tutorial where you uh, start seeing stars and you have to take a break because you've hyperventilated. But anyway, I think, I think that looks really cool. So I would do that all around the glass and because I like the way it's looking, I would then grab my little um, battery powered or rechargeable fan and uh, get a fan on there. Now, blowtorch. All right. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but there are tiny little micro bubbles in this paint. So by torching the paint, not too closely, or you will have a baked glass, which you don't want yet. By torching the paint, if you look really, really closely, which you may not be able to see it, you're actually popping those little micro bubbles so that you help get a really smooth, smooth texture when the glass is dry. So here's what we got. Um, I will tell you one more thing, just because I don't want you guys to do this and be like, wait just a second. Why did the bottom of my glass crack? This one has a couple little cracks. And by cracks, I mean, well, hello. Just like little fissures in the paint, a little blue. And that's because at the top of the glass, where you started your pour, the paint is thicker than anywhere else because it kind of pools right there in the bottom of the glass. Now, having those little breaks in the paint on the bottom don't affect the glass at all, don't affect its um, ability to sit, you know, without falling over. Also, look at the inside of this glass. If I can just brag for one moment. Oh, there's no light. Anyway, the inside of the glasses sometimes have really, really pretty designs. So, okay, I digress. So, here's what I do if it's looking like the paint is really thick on top of the glass. I got my handy dandy straw again, and I blow some of the paint off. And sometimes, if you're really lucky, a lot of that paint will drip down and add kind of another layer, another element to the design that you've already got started. If it's interfering with a design you like, that's already on your glass, then you know what to do. Just blow it out to smooth out those lines and uh, then take a big breath, get some more oxygen in your lungs. So there you have it. This glass is turning out really cool. So I'm gonna continue kind of uh, blowing around on it and I'm gonna show it to you when it is dry. Thanks for watching.